Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we are going to see what are memory optimized tables in Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, so as usual, the agenda would be understanding memory optimized table and then a practical demo. So let us first understand, you know, what is memory optimized table. So in memory uh, optimized uh, OLTP uh, is the premier technology in memory. I'm sorry. So in memory OLTP is the premier technology available in SQL Server and SQL database for optimizing performance of transaction processing data ingestion, data load and transient data scenario right so this is very very much helpful you know uh, for uh, uh, transaction processing type of data and wherein wherein you know data ingestion and data load needs to be done so a lot of like you know huge amount of data ingestion and load, data load is happening in those cases you know memory optimized tables are very very helpful in memory OLTP can provide great performance gains for the right workloads right uh, which customers well customers have seen up to 30x performance gain you know like you know 30 times uh, faster than compared to the normal uh, you know data ingestion and data load now uh, in some cases how much gain you see depends on the workload so basically you know it's not that always 30x now depends upon the workload uh, but you know uh, customer have also seen the 30x uh, performance gain in memory OLTP is good at ingesting large volume of data from many different sources at the same time and it is often beneficial to ingest data into SQL Server database compared with other destinations because SQL Server makes running queries against the data path and allows you to get real-time insights so you know this is this is much we have already talked so basically in memory optimized tables are very very good for you know a huge amount of uh, data loads uh, happening on the environment uh, in Azure SQL database, in-memory technologies are only available in premium service tier currently. Okay. Uh, when when we talk of you know uh, the workload that you know huge amount of uh, workload. So let us see what type of uh, you know uh, what it means uh, that huge amount of workload. So basically you know very trading of financial instruments. So for example uh, you know the huge uh, uh, finance houses who are dealing you may be dealing with uh, you know uh, day to day. Uh, stocks and everything uh, those type of uh, financial sports betting mobile gaming and and delivery right data ingestion including iot internet of things so these are some of now there can be so many but these are some of the common workload scenarios where you know uh, memory optimized tables can be very very uh, beneficial uh, what are implications like what what implications or what uh, advantages are of in in memory OLTP system so basically very low latency data gets inserted very quickly high throughput faster response time high efficiency high performance everything is good you know and zero or no lock escalation management is uh, escalation management is through an optimistic current concurrency model and better concurrency management so basically this is so fast memory optimized tables are so fast you know these are all uh, advantages even it has some benefits also so let us see what are benefits so it basically eliminate the contention of course because it is so fast that you know uh, though huge amount of data is being lo loaded it actually inserts so fast that it removes everything contention minimize the io logging as they are memory optimized, so obviously, you know, IO logging is very minimal. Efficient data retrieval because it is in memory, then efficient data, you know, uh, retrieval becomes again so easy because they don't have to read from the hard disk, right? Minimize code execution time, obviously, CPU efficiency and IO reduction and removal. So basically, you know, as, as the data lies in the uh, memory, uh, all the advantages related to IO logging and reduction are, you know, uh, but natural uh, but as as they have the benefits you know there are some limitations also so let us see what are the limitations the table should have at least one index that's okay nowadays uh, you know uh, no concept of heap so basically if you have one index obviously that would be heap except for an application log in memory OLTP does not offer any ability to lock records like standard SQL print so this is very you know like when when you have a standard OLTP uh, on different levels on different transactions you know a lot of uh, locks are being uh, acquired but here no locks you know uh, can be acquired and memory limitation now this is very very important because see as the data generally lies into you know they are called as memory optimized data lies in memory 
your memory should be very good and very huge memory you should be having okay right so yeah as usual let us see something in action uh, we have already seen this so this is my environment uh, you know uh, let me first create the database a separate database so there are some prerequisites also uh, so i have created database now you need to add a file group with you know with the with this content clause that this file group will be storing memory optimized data okay so i am actually altering this database and adding a file group which contains the memory optimized data okay let me add this file group okay there was some issue so let me first create a database so let us see if database is created or not yes now i am adding this file group which which in which we are specifying it should be a memory of this would be storing memory optimized data so this has been added and now let us see if you can right click and go to the properties and then to the file groups you can see here uh, it is being added okay now to this file group we are actually adding one uh, file right so we are we would be adding one file to this uh, file group so with this statement let me add this file group and now you can see earlier file group was not containing anything sorry but now you can see there is one file stream file is being added and this file you can see here this is the path so this is the file which is being added okay all the transaction and everything would be happening into this on this location okay that's it this is the only prerequisite uh, we have already done now what i'm doing is i'm creating two tables okay uh, first you can see the definition of this table so here what we are saying create table insert in memory demo id not null data varchar 25 constraint as we said that you know at least there should be one index so constraint i am keep uh, i am putting constraint primary key on id column and uh, a non clustered index and this is very important with memory optimized is equal to one so for this table actually i am enabling the memory optimized part and durability schema only okay and another table which is a very simple table again the definition or the structure remains the same again i am having the constant in everything but only difference is that we don't have this memory optimized enabled okay so let me create this two tables okay uh, created table one and created table two okay uh, let us check whether we have these two tables or not yes we have these two now the fun part begins and uh, you know the difference is very very uh, you know uh, you, you are going to see a different a very good amount of difference so now here what i'm saying uh, what i'm doing uh, okay, before that, let us see how to identify the memory optimized table. So, if you query this these tables, so you can see here there are two tables, and you can see this is is memory optimized is one on one table, and it is zero on another table. And you can see also durability description is schema only because we specified schema only, and here schema and data. Okay. Now, what I'm doing very simple test I'm doing. Uh, I'm getting the timestamp before the loop starts. Then I'm inserting a very small amount of data uh, that is, you know, ID at the rate ID, which is being generated, and uh, just a man table as a value into my uh, data column. Okay. And then again, once this is completed, I am again getting the time difference. Time difference of what? When it started and when it completed. Okay. So let us see how much time it takes in, uh, you know, inserting this uh, almost uh, 1000. So this is uh, 1 million. Okay. So these are almost 1 million rows I am inserting into this table. Okay. So let us see how much time it is taking. Uh, now, currently, uh, insert in mem demo. So I am inserting this record into my uh, table, uh, which is a part of the memory optimized table which is a memory optimized table okay so let me execute this it has started inserting the records okay and let us see how much time does it takes so, 
15 seconds. So you can see here memory insert. So almost 1 million rows got added within 15 seconds into uh, this table. Now the same set of values, right? The same test we are doing for the normal table. Okay. Let me execute this command as well here. Before that, okay. Set set no count on okay and let me execute this as well all right it has started inserting uh, now guys this is going to take fair amount of time so i am just pausing the video here and would immediately come back when the results comes in okay so now it has completed and you can see here like 177 seconds so, which is almost, you know, near to three minutes, right? So, this is where, you know, it is, it's a huge difference. So, for ex actually, you know, inserting one million rows, uh, you know, in a memory optimized table, it just took 15 seconds. And uh, in normal table, it almost took three minutes. So, this is a, this is a very huge difference. So, let us query both this table to check, you know, uh, whether records are inserted so yes actually we had given this less than so it has inserted one record less in both the uh, cases so both the tables are having almost near to 1 million rows right so this is the this is what you know memory optimized table can do uh, for the, the data loads for the huge data loads you know uh, which are very very helpful so hope guys you have enjoyed uh, watching this video related to memory optimized uh, video uh, tables uh, if so please you know don't forget to uh, press a like button and also subscribe to our channel so you will give you will you know keep getting the notifications about the new videos uh, thanks thanks a lot for watching this uh, video uh, meet you next time with next good topic till then bye and take care